and welcome to another page in God's great book of nature. Some of you have seen these stuck on a tree, on a plant, or even in your garden. Let's take a closer look. What you're looking at is the shell that belonged to a cicada bug. Cicadas don't bite or sting, so there's nothing to be afraid of. They are true bugs with big red eyes and beautiful wings. Do you hear that? Those are cicada bugs. The males have timbal organs on either side of their body that they use to chorus together to make songs for the females. They get very loud, about 90 decibels. That's as loud as a lawnmower. And they have a hollow backside of their body that amplifies the sound even more. And their wings help them direct the sound in whatever direction they need it to go. Wow, only God can design a creation like that, right? Well, once it's warm enough, they emerge from the ground where they've been for a very long time and they crack their backside and begin to wiggle out of their old skin. What's left is an empty shell that just looks like a cicada, but the bug itself is not there anymore. It's just a shell now, an empty shell. That's all that's left. The cicadas then fly or climb up a tree to find a mate, lay their eggs, and die off. Shortly after, the babies tumble to the ground to burrow themselves and the cycle begins all over again. Ephesians 4, 22 to 24 says that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. I guess you can think of it this way. That old cicada bug shell is like the old man in us, our former selves, our sinful selves, with selfishness and pride, lies, disobedient to parents, mean to others. All that ugly stuff is left behind when we leave that old shell behind. The cicada bug can't stay inside that old shell because it will die. And it certainly shouldn't take that old shell with it, huh? It has to let go and walk away or it won't be able to turn into a new creation and fly in and explore the trees. Well, the same thing for us. Unless you let go of those nasty habits and sinful ways, God can't turn you into a new creation. He wants to give you a new heart, but you have to submit. If you hold on to your old ways, you'll die spiritually. So remember, boys and girls, no matter how much you want to do all that stuff that you used to do, ask God to change your heart. And to help you leave all that bad stuff behind, know that God has a better plan for your life. Until next time, boys and girls, keep looking for treasures in God's great book of nature. Adios! Mm -hmm.